back in Japan for yet another show. We're at Nostalgic Two Days 2023 in Yokohama. So, as you can tell by the term nostalgic, this is generally focused on more classic JDM cars and lots of interesting builds. So we're gonna do a full walkthrough, see the coolest things we can see. I mean, all right, we've got a BRE racing Datsun trailer with the 2000 Roadster back there. So I'm sure we'll find some interesting things to look at. So yeah, the other side of that BRE racing trailer, see the tricked out the racing spec, the old Fair Lady 2000 Roadster connected to the matching trailer. Very cool. But have a look at what's in front of it. We've got a wide body Martini DeLorean. Oh my word. And check it out. The turbo fans on the wheels too. This is absolutely wild. Look, you got the forged carbon fiber trunk lid on the back. The duckbill spoiler. Look at the diffuser too. Oh just when you thought you'd seen it all. You get the wide body DeLorean. Wow. Cool old Geno's 240Z there. Close look at that engine. Very nice, that big old radiator sticking on the front too. Got the Classic wide-body Mazda RX-3 here. And we've got a couple old Skyline sedans too. Very, very nice. Got the wide-body Skyline here. There's plenty of them, but it's always nice. Look at the interior. Very gutted out. The low-down bride seats, or brid, however you'd like to pronounce it. Big old NOS tank in the back. Very cool. Some RWB action for you guys too. The rough rhythm that we did see back at the New Year's gathering back in Tokyo. But it's kind of hard to see at night. It's got this cool design on it where it's got these RWB stickers sort of plastered all over the car in this light green. And I got a more classic 930 RWB, interestingly enough. This one does not have a name like most of the RWBs do but look very track focused. Ready for the idlers 12 hours. Tire ready on the side. Then this one's a little different. This one's not an RWB. It just says Bull M Racing Porsche, which I'm not familiar with. Definitely has the RWB rear wing, but doesn't have those massive over fenders. It's definitely like stretched out, but it's a little more sort of like in, like in flow with the um, lines of the car. I'm loving the sort of two-tone black and gold Advan GTs as well. Looks like they make their own brakes too. Gold calipers. This kit's really nice. Flush, I guess would be the word. <laughs> to go along with the original body style. Subaru SVX. And what's interesting about this, most boxer engines are four-cylinder. This was a six-cylinder boxer though. Really cool, and it was more of a luxurious sort of Subaru. I mean, it's got that unique window design there. You can see it's almost like a Senna uh, with the um, smaller window sticking out beneath the trim there. But it's a really cool sort of like bubble coupe design to it. Clean little Honda City there. I'm really liking the wheels on it. This is the car that came with the uh, small Moto Compo pocket bike in the back from the factory. Not sure if this one has it or not. I can't really see it back there, but it's really cool nonetheless. Um, we've got a concert breaking out over there on the stage. <laughs> and then we've got some classic DR30 Skylines over here. Super clean. Whoa, there's the end of the concert. Oh, never mind, it's still going. I'll try to film something here while there's a Slight intermission. Some pristine examples here. Classic 240s, Mark IV Supra. And we've got the vintage Skyline 2000 GTR race car there too. And the historic livery. So nice, always a treat to see that one. A couple grails here. 
Mazda has brought out a just pristine, like a mint Spirit R RX-7, like the holy grail of the RX-7s. I guess sort of their answer to like the NSX Type R, I would say. But um, yeah, unique bumper. The wheels are definitely a standout too. There's that spirit of rotary badging on the side, and the red seats were generally a good tell that it was a Spirit R as well. It's mint, absolutely mint. Speaking of which, if we go over here, we can have a look at the Nismo heritage side of things, and we can see they have brought out an original R34 Nismo Z tune, like <laughs> the ultimate holy grail of the Skyline GTR lineage. These are going for about a million Canadian right now, so it's just absolutely insane. I think there's only like 20 or 25 originals. Um, plenty of kits modeled after the Z tune, but this one, as you can see from the Nismo Heritage Collection, is the real deal. Now check it out, we have the Toyota Serra here, <laughs> which you um, can obviously see the distinctive feature of that. Pretty ahead of its time. I'm not sure how many they built, but it is quite rare. You can have a look inside the interior there. It's definitely very period correct. I believe it was like early 90s, late 80s. But yeah, incredibly unique design. Sort of did McLaren doors before McLaren, I guess. <laughs> if this did in fact come before the F1, I'd have to double check that. But it's pretty darn cool to see that in person. I'm not sure if I've seen this there before. And yeah, also from Toyota, this absolutely mint Chaser Tour V. Finished in a very iconic, sort of like an incredibly dark green. You can sort of see it in the light there. It looks black from afar. But yeah, again, just mint condition. This is like known as the Drift Missile from Toyota now. But it's really cool that the manufacturers are actually coming out here, bringing out some pristine examples of classic cars for people to check out. Here's my favorite, for sure. The Group A R32 GTR. So for those who don't know, um, GTRs today are called Godzillas because of the R32 generation, specifically the Group A cars because they were really the first ones to race overseas and they just destroyed everything they raced against. So it was all the foreigners started calling it Godzilla. So this is a very, very famous car. I mean, any of the Group A cars are but um, I think the Reebok livery is pretty well known. And this one's also driven by Masahiro Hasemi. Very, very famous race car driver from Japan. Uh, ran his own team too, Hasemi Sport. So this gets my vote. Best in show for sure. The old Celica GT4 complete. The ski rack on top. Very cool. Another nice DR30. This is so underrated. I love these old skylines, especially with this red and gold double trim there. It's so sick. Here we go. The most iconic, I would say, of all the K cars, the AutoZam AZ1. That's a really nice notchback terrain over there, too. Have a look at that. And yeah, obviously, everything in Nostalgic Two Days is in mint condition, too. I mean, just have a look at the engine bay here. So nice. Yo, have a look at this old Mazda three-wheeler truck. Finished in pink. Look at the wood backing. The pocket bike strapped down in the bed. All right. Right on. And over here, got another classic Skyline 2000 GTR. The engine's out. So it's not ready to race yet, but it looks like that's what they're building it for. The Ken Mary 2000 GTR over there. Got another Genos 240Z. And we got another Ken Mary hiding back there too. Starting to take these for granted because they are actually quite rare. We've seen so many of them in Japan though. Quite fortunate. It's a very special car. And always cool to see them. Mm, got some VIP style cars too. Damn nice. Look at the Cedric. That's really cool. Look at 
this. We got the Red Pig here, the old 300 SEL Mercedes race car, and the 6.8 liter AMG. Another pretty famous, I guess you could say unconventional race car. Um, 24 hours of spa is what it's famous for racing in. Pretty well known. Behind that, the 993 GT2. Iconic, don't really need to say much about that. <laughs> so sick. Have a look at the interior here. Pretty darn cool. Here's just on the other side of the 993 GT. The 930 Speedster. The E-Type Coupe. Just a beautiful EK9 Type R here. Again, everything's just mint condition. Some nice moving parts in there. There's your official poster car for Nostalgic 2 Days 2023, the Gold 2000 GT. Now, this might be a Rocky Auto recreation, I'm not sure. I know they had one, I think they had one similar in gold. Nonetheless, still looks incredible though. Especially on the center stage here, in the middle of the show. That's damn cool. Interesting show though. A lot of cool stuff. Look at this, the old, <laughs> the old Toyota ambulance. And we've even got an old first gen 911 Japanese police car. Not too shabby. Got the helmets in the back there. <laughs> That's really cool.